I'm reading your email here. It says, customers are telling me that there isn't a place to add special instructions. Is there any way to have that area after ordering each item? Also, I noticed if you don't pick a size for a drink, coffee, or ice drink, frappe, it still allows you to check out. Is there a way to fix that? Okay, so let's go ahead and go to your website. Let's take a look here. Um, let's take a look. Let's add something to the cart. Okay. So special instructions is right here. So once you uh, once you add everything to the cart, you just press the checkout button. Uh, so right now I have two foot cups. So if I want to add a special instruction to it, just press this button here, and then you can add special instruction. I can say um, um, this is for Sam or something like that. This is for Sam. Extra napkins. Okay, so there you go. Um, <clears throat> so that's how I added special instructions to that. So when I go to checkout, and then you'll notice that it'll say that right here. See, SI special instructions. This is for Sam. Extra napkins. And then uh, let me show you another example here. Uh, let's take a look here. I'm going to order um, a banana. And I'm going to order uh, something else as well. I'm going to order a... Okay, so there you go. Half soup and salad. Okay, so now when I press this button here, now I have uh, two food cups. One banana, one half soup and salad. And then I can add my special instructions to each one. I can say, um, let's say I can say uh, add water or something like that, or ex extra cup of water, please. Something like that. You can add special instructions to each one. See, so you can actually add it from here. Um, but let me show you another example. Um, actually, let me talk, let me. Let me cover your other thing you asked for. So by the way, here's that special instructions for the soup and salad. But let me cover the other part of it. The other question you had asked me was, people are ordering uh, drinks, but they're not choosing a size. So let's go ahead and find a category that has that. So I'm doing egg and sandwich. And then it says, uh, choose a quantity. And then um, let's say people just don't select nothing. They just go right here and they press add to cart. And then, uh, and then you get an order for that item, but you have no idea how to make it because they didn't choose any options. So the way to fix that, you have to uh, have required modifiers. So on your Clover backend, on your inventory app, you have to go here. And for example, again, this is my inventory. So on your inventory, you'll look different. So what you do is you go to your modifier groups, see inventory, modifier groups. Let's say I have a protein selection and it has all these different flavors. So what you need to do is press the edit button and then say required, so they have to choose one at least. Put minimum one, uh, maximum uh, two. For example, if they have to choose two proteins, they put two. If they have to choose just one, then just put max is none. They can just, they just have to choose one, okay? Uh, but if you want them to choose um, up to five or something like that, put five, uh, you can do that, okay? And then again, just do that and then so let's say maximum uh, one, minimum one. So they can't choose more than one and they can't choose less than one. So they have to choose one of these modifiers. Press save, okay? So go ahead, do that to all your coffee drinks on your Clover inventory app, put minimum one. So so for example, as we discussed here for egg sandwich, uh, actually let me go to your drinks here, hot drinks, no, espresso drinks, no, a coffee, sorry. This is a good, good place to start. So when I click on coffee, I'm giving all these options. It says add syrup, this, add espresso. If you want them to choose one of these options, then go to the coffee modifier group on your Clover and make it required. But if you don't need them to do that, and they can just press add to cart without adding anything, then you can you can skip you can skip that step. For example, espresso drinks, um, frappuccino. Sorry, frappuccino is very customizable. So this one. You can't just have them choose cafe frappe without knowing how to make it. And this one you'll definitely need to add, add modifier groups. Um, I see you only have one option here, but large, medium. Okay, so I see the other issue. So what you want to do is you want to spread this out because you have large, medium, and then you have the flavors all in one modifier group. So spread this into two modifier groups. You want to you want to make one choose a size and then choose a flavor, I guess you can call it, and then have it separate. Okay, so keep this one and this one separate. 
make this one minimum maximum one make this one minimum one maximum um actually you don't have to do minimum maximum on this one because this is optional just do minimum one but this one has to be minimum maximum because you have to choose a size so again keep this uh, spread out um that way it's not all in one modifier group uh, let me see if i can think of a website that has it correct so you can follow their lead give me one uh let me let me find an example Here's another um, coffee shop. Uh, let's take a look at how they set theirs up so you get an idea of how to make your inventory. So when I click on Coyote Frappes right here, or frozen chai or ice chai, let's take a look at this one. See how um, in this case, in this scenario, they have um, they have additional modifiers, so it gives customers lots of choices. Instead of putting everything into one, they have it uh, spread out. Uh, so let me see if they have their sizes here as well. Uh, okay, so there you go. Here's the sizes. Okay, so they have thirst 18 ounce, uh, 32 ounce, 24 ounce, 18 ounce. See how they have the sizes separate from the flavor. So what you want to do is you want to create a modifier group called choose your size or any name you like, and then give them the, that option to choose a size separate from the flavor. Because on on this one here, uh, for example, um, when I click on coffee frappe, see it gives me size and flavor all in the same modifier group right so basically uh, when I choose almond soy and and then the large but see I'm not able to uh, make this required and make this optional so if you separate it out you can make this one required and make this one optional okay but this one is definitely required so they may skip the steps see right now I can just completely skip it and then I just get that added to my cart without knowing what I ordered Okay, so again, um, just kind of work on that inventory, spread out the sizes from the flavors, and keep it separate. And then once you do all that, uh, it's very simple. You can let me know, or you can do it yourself. Just click on orders right here, settings, and then just sync the menu. Basically, when you sync the menu, you're syncing to your website. So, for example, I'm going to uh, press here. Okay, and then I'm going to press uh, update modifiers update categories, update all items, and that'll update it to your website. Okay, um, and that's how you do that. So let me show you one other thing real quick. And the other example that we discussed was the uh, store interface. You had asked me how uh, another easy way to have them order online. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate this one. If you want them uh, to be able to um, have a different interface so they can choose a uh, special request, you can do that as well. Okay, uh, this one they can be able to add special requests on the same page. So, for example, uh, I can click on it and I can add a special request right here. So, again, uh, it's all how which inventory, which uh, setup you use. You can choose this interface and it gives you a special request right here. Or you can choose the other option, which uh, gives you special requests when you press checkout. I'm going to go ahead and activate this one back again. Let me know if this helped you out. Um, if uh, You can call or email us and we can assist you with that. Thank you so much.